How to make chicken fried rice on the griddle. Welcome back everyone. In this video we're going to go straight through the full cook of making chicken fried rice on the griddle. I'm not really doing any cuts or anything. I did move the speed up of the video a little bit just so we could get our 10 minutes and you don't just have to watch rice sitting on a griddle for three minutes. So first went down is our chicken. Those are chicken thighs. They are liberally seasoned with salt and pepper. I like to use thighs because they are a little juicier and they're going to be sitting on the griddle for a while so that way they don't dry out the way a breast or a tender would. But you can definitely use a chicken breast or a chicken tender if that is what you would like to use. I just like thighs. They're also a lot cheaper so if you're making a big batch you could easily get a big batch of thighs for like five bucks. I put some butter down for my eggs. I use oil for the thighs and then I'm using butter for pretty much the rest of this cook. Not pretty much, I am using it for everything else on the rest of this cook. We're gonna do three eggs in the front, then we're just gonna kind of scramble them up, Japanese steakhouse style. So you'll see some of the whites, you'll see some of the yolks, but we're cooking them in butter and we're cooking them first, and then we're gonna move them off to the side. So. I'm definitely not as good as a person at a Japanese steakhouse, but it does all right for this. So we just scramble them up there while our chicken thighs are cooking in the background. Little tip on the eggs, you can crack them beforehand or if you're gonna crack them on the griddle, always crack them on the flat surface. They will crack better than if you crack them on the side of the griddle. You just always wanna crack eggs on a flat surface. They're easier to come out that way. Doesn't seem like that, but it will. Go ahead and flip the chicken. Total cook time for this is about 15 minutes maybe. But obviously, like I said, I, I moved it along a little faster on the video. And I only did two thighs. You could very easily on this griddle put down six, seven chicken thighs. I have like two cups of cooked rice here. This is enough. It made about six portions for me and my wife. We ate two or three of them the night of, froze the rest, use them for dinners and taking to work for lunches later. So that's the beauty of the griddle. Once you do this once, next time, definitely do a big batch of maybe like eight chicken thighs and six eggs and a couple cups of rice. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my griddle, clean off the spatula there. You always wanna keep it clean. You, you're gonna put the eggs back in, but the little parts of eggs that were still in the griddle, you gotta get rid of those or else they're just gonna be burnt and then you're gonna have a burnt flavor inside your fried rice. Go ahead and flip this over. Then I got a little bit of teriyaki sauce. This is completely optional. It's only going on the chicken just to add a little bit of extra flavor to the chicken. Now, if you wanted to, you could put a bunch of teriyaki on the chicken and this would just be teriyaki chicken over fried rice. I'm not going for that. I'm just going for a little bit more something, something to add to the chicken. You can see I moved the chicken aside and there's juices there that are left over. I add another pat of butter there's going to be a lot of butter, so just bear with me. This is what makes it taste good. And I'm moving that around in the drippings from the chicken. Down goes my frozen peas and carrots. Then my green onions. That's about uh, two green onions there. And then I'll have a recipe linked in the description for all the measurements. So this is all getting cooked up in the butter, in the chicken juices. These are my vegetables here. And those are just straight out of the freezer. You could let them sit and thaw or you don't have to, it's not, it's not a big deal. And again, this is a basic beginner chicken fried rice all the way through. You can completely adjust this and spice it up. And if you wanna use different veggies, you wanna use fresh veggies, you wanna use some cabbage, you wanna use some little baby carrot, corn, whatever you'd like to use, you know, take some liberties and really experiment with this. This is just a real easy one to get you started. Maybe if you just got a grit or, or if it's your first time cooking. So the veggies are almost done. You know, about one to two minutes. You kind of just toss them around there. Then I spread them out evenly, make sure they're cooking okay. Pretty soon here, we're going to go ahead and add some salt and pepper after I finish adding more teriyaki to the chicken. Here we go. A little more salt and pepper on the veggies. And then I'm going to add my garlic last minute just to mix it in there with the veggies and the chicken. Now we'll start to give it all another good stir. The green onions are really, you could use white onions or 
red onions, but the green onions are where it's at. I mean, it just gives you that restaurant flavor. You could also save some to sprinkle on top at the end. But now we're just mixing the chicken and the veggies together. Chicken's been on there the longest. It's gonna take the longest to cook, but you know, don't be afraid to let it sit. Make sure your griddle is at 375 degrees. Uh, that's about medium low for my griddle. So 375 is important. You don't wanna, I just turned off the other burner. Now I'm down to two burners. So those top two burners are off. Everything's just holding warm up there. We're no longer cooking. But the first two burners closest to the camera, they're at 375. We're putting down another pad of butter, more butter. This is what they do at the steakhouses, man. This is what we're getting. I'm trying to get as much surface area as possible because we're gonna put down the rice. So I wanna make sure all the rice is laying flat on the butter. You can see I got my rice on a sheet pan there and then a piece of parchment paper. That's because I cooked it the night before. It stuck a little bit, probably could have used some more pan spray, but overall pretty good. You really want to cook your rice the night before. You could do it like two hours before and let it cool down, but the best is the day before. Or, ideally, you use leftover rice from a meal you had the day before. There's something about cooling it down and then putting it back out there and frying it. It'll get gummy if you go straight from cooking it in the pot and then trying to fry it up. I also prefer to use jasmine rice. It's a long grain white rice. It just really turns out great for fried rice. You do not have to. You can use brown rice. You can use a regular fried rice, whatever you want. I just prefer jasmine. Then I put down my soy sauce in the rice. This is how we're getting a lot of the color. And you can see I got as flat as possible. We really want to fry that rice on the griddle. Make sure it's not in a mound at first. Just really spread it out flat. Until you toss it, you're starting to toss. Now we're bringing everybody, all the kids into the pool. Got the eggs, we got the chicken, we got the veggies, soy sauce and the rice, and we're just gonna toss it all together and really start to get that color and the look of fried rice that you're expecting when you make fried rice. This is the beauty of having a griddle. You see how much space I have to work with to toss this rice around? This is uh, not always a mess, but a pretty difficult thing to do in your kitchen if you're just going right on your stove without making a mess. It's not a difficult cook, but it's difficult to keep clean. This is the fun part of the griddle where you just get two spatulas and pretend you work at a Japanese steakhouse for the weekend, flipping shrimps into people's mouths, doing volcano onions, all the fun parts of working in a Japanese steakhouse, I would imagine. So we're just continuing to mix it all together, all over the griddle. Try to get as much of it together, mixing that rice and soy sauce and all of our veggies. And finally, we're going to come in at the very end here, once we get it all spread out, thin. Again, remember, spread it out as thin as possible. Really let that rice fry up on the griddle top. You can see me just kind of chopping it out and spreading it along. That's how it becomes fried rice, not just rice you soaked in soy sauce, is the butter in the griddle top. Final finish is toasted sesame oil. This is a must. There's a lot of recipes with some different fish oils and different types of things in there that you can leave out and you can adjust things and you can add different proteins. You could do steak instead of chicken, but the sesame oil is a must. It's toasted sesame oil. It's what gives you the flavor. It's what gives you that restaurant slash takeout fried rice flavor that you're used to having. So you want to adjust the veggies, fine. You want to use oil instead of butter, that's fine too. You want to adjust the chicken, completely up to you but get the toasted sesame oil. You have to use that to really get the fried rice flavor you want. And when you do that, that's how you'll end up with a beautiful fried rice that will lead straight to the stomach and to the heart of the people who are eating it. As you can see here, I tried to make a fried rice heart. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more griddle videos.